In the last four weeks, Jigawa has been experiencing flash floods in many parts of the state, in which 63 people are now known to have died, following 12 more deaths recorded in the last 24 hours. Many families are now homeless, with towns cut off owing to erosion and collapse of link bridges. This road connects many towns and villages to Duse, the Jigawa state capital. However, it is no longer accessible with vehicles after a flood washed away part of the road. People here told us how they recovered seven human corpses that drowned in Samir Tanega village. They called us and told us that some people have drowned in their village. Since the water is passing through here, then we tried to intercept the corpses, and so far, we're able to recover seven bodies. Livelihoods are also in danger. A farmer in Baranda, Rebilu Galadima, says his farm has been washed away, which means he may not have anything to feed his family through the air. The help we need from the government is food. Our farmlands have been destroyed. We don't have anything to eat now. But please, if the government wants to help us, they should do it directly. Because if they give it to someone to give us, you may not give the right people that have been affected. Police public relations officer in Jigao State says the new casualties occurred in three local government areas. There is one village called Adian, <coughs> where five women, or I, I, I mean four women with a child, seven months child, lost their life during such incident of Kenu capsize. And then there is one village in Martaba, that is Martaba village in Guaram local government. Also five people drawn inside the river or fawn, and then they lost their life. Also there is one case in, that is the first case in, in Sansani village in Niger local government. Also two people lost their life. According to authorities, 1,552 villages in 22 local governments have been affected by flooding in the last two months. Sadiq Ilyasu, Channels Television News.